Please click on subscribe button and click on bell icon for more interesting updates on civil engineering concepts. In this video lecture, I will explain you how to import the typical floor plan from AutoCAD software to ETAP software. So in my previous video, I was explained how to import the uh, typical floor plan from AutoCAD software to StatPro software. So I will provide you that respected video link in a box or link and below description of this respected video. You can watch that video. Okay. So in this video, I will cover the concept which is related to the importing process of uh, typical floor plan from uh, AutoCAD software to ETAP software. Okay. So for that, firstly, initially I will show you the typical floor plan in AutoCAD software. So click on the AutoCAD software here. So this is my typical floor plan. So I was already explained uh, complete details about this respected typical floor plan in my previous video. You can watch that video. So initially we need to create the center line diagram for this respected typical floor plan. Okay. So for that, firstly, we have to select the column section. Just I'm selecting the columns here. Click on delete option so that it will delete all your respected columns for this respected plan so after deleting all these columns we need to create the layer okay just i'm selecting the layer command just i'm selecting a layer which is related to the new layer just i'm writing here as import option okay so click on ok option so before that we need to change the color of that respected layer just you can consider any one of the color just a simple understanding just i'm taking it as white color click on ok so that it will select your respected import option so initially we need to select the import option layer here okay so after that we have to draw the center lines by using line command l enter option select the center point of this respected object again we have to draw this line okay in the same process we have to draw the all the lines which is related to the vertical direction for the remaining column and sections So in the same process, we have to draw the horizontal lines also. So for the select the line command, select the center point for this respected line. Again, we have to draw the center line like this. In the same process, we have to draw the all the horizontal lines for this respected typical floor plan. So now we can see all the horizontal lines are drawn here like this. So after drawing all these respected horizontal lines, we need to uh, hide the remaining lines which is related to the layer properties. So for that go to layer option here. So we have to click on this respected turn off layer so that it will turn off your respected object here like this. So after turn off is completed, we need to move this object, select move command M enter, select this respected all the objects for this typical floor plan here like this. So after selecting all these objects, click on enter option, select the starting point, just I am selecting to some uh, 60 feet distance here like this. Okay. So after that, again, we have to click on this uh, turn on layer option. Okay. So that it will uh, get back your respected object here like this. So after uh, turn on the layers, we need to delete the typical floor plan, which is related to this object here. Okay. Just I am selecting the typical floor plan for the complete object. Click on delete option. Now we have to move this respected object. So select M enter command. Again, we have to select the M move command. Select the starting point here. Click on the F8 option select this respected second point z enter a enter option now we can see all the center line diagrams are drawn here like this so after drawing all the center lines we need to trim the excess of the portions so just i am selecting the trimming option for the respected object here like this so now we can see all the lines are trimmed here like this so after trimming process completed we need to save this file to dxa file format okay so click on this autocad software click on the save as option so initially we need to select the folder just i'm selecting the desktop so click on this respected name just i'm selecting the name is import option okay select the import select your respected file format is as per autocad uh, 2013 dxf file format just i'm selecting import click on save option so that it will save your respected typical float plan as per the dxf file format so after uh, exporting completed just we need to save this respected object so click on the uh, save option here so by using control s option so that it will save your respected typical floor plan so click on yes option for that so initially we need to save this uh, new model just i am selecting the name as x something something click on save option so that it will save your respected typical floor plan like this okay so after that we have to go to the etaps version software just i am selecting here as 2018 etaps version software now the software will be open here like this click on the file option click on new model option so initially we need to select the units for this respected typical floor plan as per your considerations of your specifications this time selecting user built in which is related to the metric si indian system 800 456 click on ok option so after that it will open your respective grid dimensions data and story dimensions data here like this 
so initially we need to select the number of stories will be consisting of one here just i'm selecting randomly as one so firstly we have to click on this blank space add structural objects okay so click on ok option so that it will load your respected blank page so after that we have to go to the file option here click on the import option here so it will be consisting of your respected importing process like e tabs dot e2k text format e tabs database table excel and access text xml file and structure reverse software and dwg dxf file format you can select any one of this respected format okay so here i am selecting as a uh, dxf file format drawing file for the architectural plan click on select this option so that it will ask you to select your respected importing file just i'm selecting import option so select click on open option so that it will ask your respected property and specifications here like this just i'm selecting the specifications will be comes under your meter and you have to select the drawing original scale and scale option just i'm considering randomly as one and you can select the maximum distance between the parallel lines is uh, any value you can consider as per your consideration just i'm taking it as 10 here click on ok option so now we can see the beams are imported for this respect typical floor plan here like this so you can modify your respected beams so after importing process completed we need to draw the grid lines for this respected beams so for that go to edit option so in this we need to select the add grid lines at the selected joints so it will ask you to uh, add the grid lines in parallel to x direction and y direction so you can pick the two points and you can select all the beams for this respected section and you can apply here so that it will uh, create your respected grid lines in horizontal direction as well as vertical direction okay so it will be consisting of the grid lines here like this which is related to uh, approximately of one two three four numbers here like this again it will be consisting of your respected numbering section here like this okay so after that we have to delete all this respected property for the building section so that it will delete your respected beam assignment property okay so after deleting all this respected beam sections we need to uh, create the new beams so go to define option for that firstly we have to define the material properties select the material here this time selecting here as indian which is related to the concrete of m30 grade click on ok option again in the same process we have to create the new material which is related to the steel section as per your respected rebar and which is of just i'm taking it as 415 grade click on ok option so after that we have to create the beam dimension select this go to your respected section property section property frame section so it will be consisting of your default sections click on delete multiples initially so you can select here click on delete option click on ok so initially we need to add the property just i'm selecting the new property which is related to the rectangular section just i'm giving here as b which is related to the beam and which is of m30 grade concrete just i'm taking the dimensions is 300 cross 230 dimensions okay so after that you can select the modify rebar section which is related to the beam and you can modify to hysd 415 section here like this again you can consider the cover which is of 30 30 example click on ok option so that it will define your respected beam property so after that we have to de uh, define the column section property so click on add new material select this rectangular section just i am selecting here as column rectangular section which is related to the 300 cross 300 section modify this again you can consider the column section which is related to the hysd of 415 you can consider the number of bars and specifications as per your considerations so click on ok option now we have to define the property which is related to the slab section select the slab thickness option click on add new property just i'm selecting here as 120 section just you can consider the membrane section and this is 120 let us take and grade of the concrete is m30 grade concrete click on ok option okay so click on ok option so after defining this respected property we need to uh, add the some more grid sections which is related to the uh, new insertion of your respective stories go to edit option for that so otherwise you can right click on this respect option so click on add modify grid section so click on modify grid dimensions data so it will be consisting of your respected grid dimensions data here like this again you can modify this respected story dimensions data it will be consisting of story like base one so initially i am adding the new story which is related to just i am taking the number of stories are approximately just i am taking five numbers and each story height is five click on ok option so that it will create your respected remaining stories which is related to the story one story two story three story four section for this respected building plan so it will load your respective property here like this so click on ok option again you can click on ok option so now you can see it will load your respective plan view and 3d view for the structure here like this now we have to assign the property for the beam section so for that select your beam property here 
so you can select the beam property name here like this and you can drag to the respected model before that we have to change to all stories option so you can drag to the plan here like this so again we have to select the column sections here just i am selecting the column again i am selecting this property c and i am assigning this respected column sections here like this okay now we have to assign the slab section select the slab section here select the property name as let us take here as 120 section so you can assign to this respected property here like this okay so you can select this option so click on the plan view section again you can select this option click on the 3d view section so that it will load your respected 3d view for this so again after this we have to delete the property at the ground story for this respected section select the one story option select this property click on delete option so that it will delete your respective property okay so now i will show you this respected property in rendering view process so for that firstly we have to click on this right mark option so initially we need to select the extrude option cells extrude frames and again apply to all windows option here click on apply option click on ok option so that it will load your respective property which is related to the beams columns and structure here like this okay so this is the complete process of uh, importing the typical floor plan from AutoCAD software to uh, ETAP software. So if you have any queries about this respected video, please text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for the respected questions. In my upcoming video, I will explain you complete process of importing and analysis and designing of the building structure by using ETAP software. Thank you.